Hello again! Welcome back to something I haven't done in quite a while. Mostly because A, the last director there was, happened to come out at a time where I couldn't recall my reaction to it. And B, it definitely has been a while since the last one of these. So, thankfully, I actually have Smash Bros. footage in the background for this one. Anyways, what's happening today is Sora Sakurai, John Sakurai himself, has picked up his base, I don't know, and he is going to present to us the sixth, the, the sixth, the sixth DLC fighter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. We, since, from the previous Direct, which was, I want to say, May? I don't remember. Maybe, no, it was earlier than May. April or March, one of them days. <laughs> one of them months, even. Uh, it was announced that the next fighter was fighter number six. It's gonna be from arms. People have been throwing around speculation and guesses, guesses and speculation and all that. And whatever it, going, it ends up being will be what it ends up being. Me personally, uh, it's probably not gonna be uh, Spring Man or Ribbon Girl because Spring Man is an assist trophy and Ribbon Girl has a costume and I don't know if they're gonna put a costume in. And again, King K. Rule, Isabel. They were both costumes, they came back to support characters. Um, actually, actually, yeah, it, it, it could be Ribbon Girl, I don't know. But, if there's one thing that I have predicted for myself, for like a really Sakurai thing that they could do, is it would be them just doing, pulling a Bowser Jr. and having eight arms characters in that one slot, which would make the amiibo very interesting. Granted, Bowser Jr. didn't get any other alternate amiibos, it's just what it is. So we're left with whatever it happens to be. And speaking of amiibo, it might be likely that we'll get the first wave of downloadable content amiibo. So hopefully it's Joker and Hero. That's probably likely. If they do the four different heroes, then that would be interesting, but we don't know what they're doing with the DLC viewer yet. Because if you remember, with the last three Amiibo to release for Smash 4, Cloud Corn and Bayonetta, they had a Player 1 and Player 2 variants for the two different costumes they had. So, they might do that for Joker and Hero, and maybe for Byleth too. But for Banjo and Terry, there isn't really anything for that, unless they want two different colours for some reason. They haven't really done that though. They haven't, uh put out an amiibo that has a different pose for a different color, like the alternate trophies back in Smash 4, and I guess Brawl as well. They haven't done that. It'd be cool to see though, but we don't know for sure right now. Another thing is, in the description of this video, it did mention that it's going to be a 35 minute presentation. So it's about the same length as the Terry presentation, and if there's anything to assume from that, is there's gonna be maybe a little backstory on how arms came to be and all that. Then we're gonna get a talk through of the character and the fight and how they fight. Then they're going to maybe do the classic mode if it's that long. And after that, they may talk about DLC fighters. I mean, uh, me, me, me costumes is what I meant to say. And maybe some other stuff too. I'm not sure. It, it just depends, really. We're not quite sure what it for the moment. They did mention on Twitter, shortly after announcing this, like maybe 15 minutes after they announced that this uh, presentation was going to happen on Monday 22nd of June 2020, they mentioned that there's not going to be any other fighter reveals in this presentation aside from the arm fighter. Shrug. Shrug, okay? Shrug. People have interpreted that in however they want to interpret that in. I'm just going to shrug at that. It could happen, it couldn't happen. We don't know yet. It might, it might not. All that remains is waiting for the presentation to actually kickstart. Although in the meanwhile, I could say, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video. Because the third gauntlet is on the back burner. It's very close to being done. I just need to get up-to-date figures for the beginning of the video. And then export that and bring that up. And then schedule all the other videos. Well, the question is, or uh, question is of whether this video is going to go up before it or during it. 
I'm not sure yet, so maybe it'll go up after it. That's a possibility. I don't know when it's going to be going on. I mean, by the way, recording these, we just got the Audacity file and the uh, OBS file. You just need to put it for handbrake, and then it'll be easy just to shush it in, pick out the music, and then get it all done. Real quick, that's how they've been the past couple of times. But, you know, it's not a live reaction. It's kind of a live reaction. It's just that it takes a while to actually get up onto the channel. So yeah, you know, whatever does is does. How is how is doing to be? How to become me? <laughs> yeah, while well, we're waiting. In other news, I've been really enjoying the uh, Borderlands ports for the Switch. Quite a lot. This isn't the first time I mentioned them, because I mentioned them during the Gauntlet feeds, but those ports of Borderlands 1, 2, and Pre-Sequel are really good. I've been enjoying my time. I've come to understand why people like Borderlands 1 now, with that Game of the Year edition. Because the one thing I was not a fan of in the based version of, or the base version of Borderlands 1, which I did for the LP, because it was the 360 version, there wasn't a mini-map. That just irked me so much. There was no way for me to actually understand or know where to go around, where to, where to, where to visit, what am I doing, where's the compass pointing me towards, why is there a wall in the way when I could just go towards the compass point. It was one of those things. And while the minimap isn't perfect in the Game of the Year edition, it's still a functioning minimap that I like a lot. And also through uh, that Game of the Year edition on the Switch, I played through the DLC campaigns, so I got through the Dr. Ned stuff. I went for the Underdome. The Underdome was really fun. It was aggravating at some points because if you fail in round 5, you go back to round 4 and all that, but... I really enjoy the Underdome. I'm surprised at how entertaining it could be. Of course, you have to do it like 3 times or get the... complete the mission for it, which gets you the skill point. And I need to do that a second time because I started playing for 2 already. But, yeah, it's fun. And there's also the uh, General Knox DLC. I haven't fought Cromorax yet, I'm not that high of a level. But I'm getting there. And then there was the uh, Robo Re Revolution, which was an interesting DLC. Didn't put too much time into that one comparatively, but I did manage to get like four legendaries in the uh, in the loot room once you beat that DLC, which is interesting. I think the reason why I didn't farm it is because the way it, the way it was is that it kind of kept forcing me onto the base of uh, Playthrough 2 once I save quit. So by the time I went, if I wanted to save quit and farm a certain thing, I'd have to go to the menu, pick out, to go to the Playthrough 1 back, and it would send me back to the first uh, fast travel station in that DLC. And it's another thing, <laughs> another point against uh, Borderlands 1 though. There's only one fast travel for the DLCs. That is not fun in the slightest. Which meant, even with that, I couldn't farm. I was so thankful I got the SDU in the General Knox DLC the first time. Because not only would I need to have do the entire drive all the way up to where that prison is again, I need to perform that jump to get into the prison again. That is not a good jump. I don't know why it's... That one jump that keeps getting me so much, and I do not like it that at all. It's just pretty aggravating. But yeah, the Revolution one as well. Uh, Revolution was a fun DLC. I'll say that. It's interesting seeing all the uh, boss fights show up again and all that. I mean, granted, I've seen them technically already because uh, I've been watching Jolt's dude and his playthroughs of Borderlands 1 for a little while now. So I've kind of seen what's going on with all that. But yeah, now I actually have full context of after playing through all of the campaigns like that, which is interesting. So to summarize, Underdome's cool, but the fact that there's only one fast travel station isn't that good. Also, the Underdome brought in a storage system, so you actually have a, a bank for it. So, that was one thing. I remember editing it in to the Borderlands LP that there was a uh, bank in the D Underdome DLC. So, that's something. And also, 
it's going to be fun getting the rest of the backpack SDUs that remain to get to that top level of 72. Because it takes a, a little while to actually get to there. Especially given that the playthrough 2 SDUs in the main story, and I guess the 2 in the DLCs, aren't guaranteed, so I'd need to read only slash dashboard farm for them. So, yeah, it's going to be super fun to get to them once I do. And I guess the last thing I should mention, even though I mentioned it in one of the feeds of the gauntlet, just to retread steps. This is just to get that information out earlier than that. Launchers are overpowered in that game. Like, launcher ammo is so abundant in Borderlands 1. Like, the max cap, I think, is in the 60s or 70s, I'm not sure. And also, because I was playing as Roland, uh, ammo regeneration also regens rocket ammo. So that is very broken. Then I think there's also Break who has launch ammo regeneration as well, so I need to go through with him, I suppose, and get that launch and stuff. So I've been enjoying my time blowing shit up with a rocket launcher. Like, I've kept this hive mind from beating the war, uh, destroy it the first time ever since. It's something, I guess. Anyways, we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy after speaking all my mind out to see what exactly is planned from Sakurai. Also, apparently Sakurai is filming this himself. He had to film the whole thing himself from his own room. So yeah, let's see. Peggy 12. Peggy 12. Audio is good, all right. Oh, how nice. He's got a nice living area. <laughs> I'm filming in an unusual location. May 2nd. Coronavirus. Okay. Yeah, it is very difficult to go outside. Also, slowed down DLC production as well. That was a thing I remember reading. There's no banner in the background, I suppose, for it. Hmm. It's like Nintendo。Oh, that's really good for them. Happy home day. Surprise is an Animal Crossing Direct. <laughs> but what about Reggie? Oh, look at all that. What a nice view as well. Yep, same. Oh, damn. <laughs> what a cool guy. Toby Fox was there on that sofa, probably. My best. What is arms? You have them on your hands. Yeah. You may remember I did do the uh, uh, the test punch all the way back when before Arms was released. Thumbs up for it. It's, it was an interesting experience even playing with a uh, pro controller. But I never really did get invested into it. What's that all about? <laughs> See, I, this is why I still like these presentations. Because Sakurai has a nice little personality that he shows off in these. Thank you. Look at this doofy smile on my face right now. Yeah, like Twin Tail. <laughs> so a percentage of individuals, what? There's a good reason for that. We've got eight fighters joining in one slot. It's music though. Now for the reveal. Hmm. 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 
Slice, slice. Go to the nice, nice. Oh. Oh, shit. It's Min Min. Jesus Christ, Captain Falcon, slow down. Fight the bot. The robot. Jesus. Punched in the face. Oh, God, what? Hmm. Oh, this is a this is a replica of the 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 team. Hmm. It's gotta be a replica of the, the Fatal Fury trailer. It's Ribbon Girl. See? <laughs> yeah, it, it it could be anything. <laughs> Listen, my idea is still on the table. It's gotta be the Bowser Junior option. It's gotta be. Or it's Min Min. Holy shit, Falcon! Calm down. Robin, Soda, Udon, you name it. Oh god, everyone's dead. Oh, that's Twintel. Twintel is for good boys and girls. I am completely happy with this. Min Min was the character I almost kind of predicted as well. But actually, they haven't revealed who exactly it is yet, so... And I'm also intrigued at how this character. Yep, yeah, Min Min! Oh, I love that stage. Also, this music is good too. Boo, ba, boo, ba, doo, ba. It's gotta reach even longer than Simon and Richter! <laughs> what is with these characters keeping. extending the reach of the character? I don't get it. Oh, there's a counter too. Or maybe a reflector. Oh, I like those costumes too. Wow. Just in case you forgot, assist trophy. Oh man. Min Min Kirby. That's cute. Oh wow. That's a good final smash. Completely happy with this. Satisfied. Now all we need is some new universes being joined through Me Fighter costumes, and I'll be fine with that. Also, Captain Falcon. Yeah. Kirby, stop eating the balls. She doesn't have enough of them. Dumbass. Men, men caught the invitation. She sure did. Oh, look, there's still the poster. Hey. If you excuse me, I'm just going to jam out to the music for a moment. Because it honestly is really good music. I'm surprised I haven't listened to the um, soundtrack too often. <laughs> No one's a protagonist, it's an ensemble cast. Yep. It's like the Avengers. It's an ensemble cast. Yeah. <laughs> we can't show that for legal reasons, so you know. What do you about the disease? It's still a better version. Integrating arms into Super Smash Bros. is a very difficult thing to do. I saw from that trailer that she could change her arms mid battle, so. Yeah, an extraordinary fighting style. No matter what the character is, the main thing that helps is the goddamn fighting style. Who cares about Biolif if no one likes Biolif? The fighting style is the important thing. You don't have to like the character in order to like the fighting style. Sorry, I missed all that from Sakurai. <laughs> but I do prefer this UK version of the live streams because. You don't get the annoying announcers chiming in every now and then. Robin Ball. Both arms have the spring. There's Loopy Lou and Dragon <laughs> You can extend. Just the one left arm. Tilt. Nice. Look at that goddamn range. That's unbelievable. Ha! Huh. That's gonna change up the meta. That that is going to be interesting to see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting video when we get to the the classic mode playthrough. 
Oh, the bend! Wow. Well, it's bending down, it'll hit the ground and swiftly bounce up. But if you're in the air, it'll just curve down. What? The left arm. Oh! Huh. But can you press both at the same time? That might be before the grab or whatever, I don't know. Actually, no, both at the same time is actually just the charge smash attack. Yeah. By using this, you can punch punch. Look at that. <laughs> Wow. Tilt and smash! Smash and tilt! Maybe if you have your control set up. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. Jesus. It took me a while to actually realize what was going on. Because I wasn't looking, I was messaging my friend. Oh, where's the A button? <laughs> on the sofa. Side table! Direct attack. No counters. I guess that makes sense. But I guess, uh. You have to be a little bit careful. Their attacks are really easy to dodge. Yeah, you need to. You, it's, she's gotta be ranged in a strange way. No pun intended. Strange range. Uh, not even really a pun. Counter attack. Please do bend your arm backwards behind your back. But is it possible to win with one arm tied behind your back? Let's find out. You gotta admire his power. <laughs> I like how you can just hear the table clacking when he's put down the controller. That's funny. Man, this music. How many tracks are they gonna add? If you want to, I don't know, this is probably too expensive, I was going to say 25, but you never know. Maybe 11, and the average is around 10, but you're fine. Then again, the average was taken out of whack with Terry, but oh well. Up and down, execute special moves. Up B, obviously. Ah, arm change. So you can dual. Okay. <laughs> as long as you're in a situation. That is really quick. I am really extremely curious to see how the community are going to take this character. I want to see the combo videos immediately. Relatively fast. Then the ring loops back to you. So, you know, in case you missed, it might catch. It's like a boomerang on your arm. <laughs> also, there's the clown in the background. Remember the clown? I think I saw that t uh, be retweeted at some point the other day. Whereas, like, the learn uh, the weakness for Americans tweet. Jesus Christ. That's an edge game. Megawatt. It, yeah. Cannonball mode. Easy to dodge. Not easy to bend. Ooh, the smash attack, though. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I was just thinking about how interesting it's gonna be with smash attacks. Like, you could bait someone out by missing the first smash attack, but then you could do another smash attack with the other arm. Dragon. 
See, get it? It's Double Dragon. That's the next, that's the seventh fighter. It's, it's Billy and Jimmy Lee. Straightforward features. Keep oh, and the laser. I forgot that that was a feature of the dragon. Dragon laser beam? A dragon ball? No. Keep opponents at a distance. Let me just take this moment to say as a, a message to all you people out there. Give them time. Don't badger them about this production of DLC. It's a tough time right now. Things may be delayed. Don't badger them, please. One more feature. Yep. <laughs> Imagine if a ground frame is just really slow, really small. Almost became a bigger arm. Hmm. It has flames! Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Mimin's looking to be an interesting character to fight with. It's swirling too. It's much more powerful. Very powerful. Oh yeah, neutral attacks too. Oh, there's the uh, the clouds neutral error. The quick one. And slow one as well. That's interesting. Not at the same time. Hmm. What about Mimin herself? Did you know kicks? So it's like the uh, the shoulder characters, or whatever they're called. It's the jab. I like that jab. Hold to arm, tap to kick. Tap that ass, kick that ass, do it. There's Rodrigo in the background. I don't even know the names of most of the characters. I know Helix, I know Min Min, I know Twintel, and uh, Ribbon Girl, and all that. But not a lot of the other ones. There's the Mummy Guy. <laughs> I don't remember much else. And Ninja, as was mentioned earlier. <laughs> Wow, that's the counter. With the jump kick. Down tilt is a slide. Okay. Kind of like Simon and Richter. Does a little bit of a trip up and all that. Pretty low range down smash. It's probably not too reliable. What's the up smash though? Or did I already show and I missed it? Dive kick. Like famous video game dive kick. Arms jump. Huh. That's some spring. Ah, wow. That is incredibly high. <laughs> that might save you pretty low down. Like Little Mac. So she's kind of like a Little Mac, Mega Man in kind of a way, but I'm not sure if that's exactly the right way to describe her. Only a bit of invincibility. But if you time it just right, you'll be slapped off, maybe. Get some distance. Go over there. Leave me alone. Oh, arm hook. What are you telling me about Sakurai? So, okay. So it's not quite off the stage kind of fun. Yeah, it's more of a recovery, I would imagine, so. Damn, look at that. Yep, wire recovery. Wow! That's rage. Chomp the stage. Chompy. Arms rush. Because remember, Springman has it too. Except this time, everyone's here. You know, like that game that's being played right now. 
ですがそこは最後の切り札なのでもっとスペシャルに演出をしています Fuck you, Pegaman. <laughs> I just combined Mega Man and Pac Man at the same breath. I didn't realize that, and I was stupid to say that. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no one should Pega Man in any way. Spring Stadium. I really like the look of this. Various on site is like Twin Tail, Ribbon Girl, Elix. Spring pads. <laughs> Jigglypuff watching from the side. Hmm. What are you talking about with these? Oh, they are part of the stage. I was thinking, like, what is going on there? That might make things interesting at this stage. I mean, the stage is probably not turn illegal anyway, but it'd be interesting to see anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Please, try it out. Oh, that's cool. Coming in with the drone. Boxes. Hmm. Covers everything. Now I'm going to show you the classic mode. That's probably what's going to happen here. Trying out Min Min. Oh no, it's a regular fight. <laughs> I like that render too. Two against one. I was doing that earlier. I mean, I didn't spoil the challenge, did I? <laughs> A fight while keeping it at a distance, sometimes Min Min is excellent at it. Get out of here, Koibi. I'm surprised that Captain Falcon had the gut to eat all that food, or that ramen. Udon soba, you name it. <laughs> Better have been for a rapper kick recently, I don't know why. Let's see. Just gotta take the time to punch Kirby in the face. That'll be it. Yeah, like you could miss a smash attack to bait them, and then just do a regular attack to follow up into something else. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not a pro fighter in any way, so perhaps the community will be able to show off the entirety of Min Min's potential. Kirby uses his copy ability. Oh no, I killed Kirby, I killed my love. No. I know you want to. Oh no. I got ran over. Just enough. Whoa. Falcon Mega What? <laughs> oh, Sakurai. What a personality he is. Good. Wait, uh, what's the hitbox in there? Do, can you hit from close range or not? That's something to try out, I suppose. No, god, let down, no? Now Kirby can't swallow. Ah, oh, I missed. That's what happens when you can't arm. Well, it's already fine. Imagine how many times you had to do this fight in order to win with it. I don't know how difficult the CPUs you set are, so it's fine. No close range combat, not good, no good, no point. If I'm gonna make a guess for the classic mode, it's gonna be stupid. But final boss has a sis man as a trophy that spawns at the beginning. That'd be that'd be dumb. If it happens, it happens. Okay. You can miss on purpose. Keep opponents at bay. Yeah. See. Oh shit. That is a way to do that. God. Damn. That deserves a drink. Oh, that logo as well. Wow. Yeah, it could just be really bad. Maintain good distance. Yeah, I agree. She's an interesting fighter. I will enjoy playing as her. She's fun to do. 558. Christ. That's it. Haha. -ha. Oh, yeah, the song list. Let's not forget. Via Dol Dolce. I don't know. 13. Oh, 18. 
I was kind of close to 25 or something like that. Name redacted? Hmm. <laughs> Is that a spoiler track? Five thirty nine price tag. All the music from the stage is nice. Wow. Either there's a lot more in arms that I don't know about, or the soundtrack is really short. June thirtieth, so end of the month. About a week from now. That's all right. Automatically receive it, and you bet you know I already have it. Just buy it separately if you want. Only one. Well, that's about enough. Five more to go. But we are working hard at it, especially in this time. Stay tuned. We also have Mii Fighter costumes. Get ready for thumbnails, guys. You might have a character that shows up in the thumbnail, like Sans and Cuphead. Hmm. Snap. Probably never arms Mii Fighter costume. Maybe a Min Min one. Maybe a Twin Tail one. Twin Tail be funny. Alright. Greninja? Oh, Ninjala, alright. Ninja Man Boy, whatever his name is. Ninjara, I was close! Just the L and R was mixed around. Damn, that wall jump. I, must, I didn't realize that me fight Brawler had him to wall jump. Tekken! And that's the high hat you wanted came back. Nice. Now, I guess that almost rounds off all the character uh, costumes that came back from the previous game. Not sure though. Sploon? Oh, Callie and Marie? That's cool. Those are nice costumes. Stay fresh. I can almost guarantee that people are going to do, like, Turf Wars. If you know what I mean. Imagine being killed by the one you call your love. Your idol. Dude! Oh, no. I was going to say... Meat Boy. But no. What in the fuck? <laughs> I almost threw up my drink. Jesus Christ, that is a good costume. I, I does it come with that music? Or no? <laughs> oh my God, poor meat pot dog. Wow. <laughs> See, like I told you, thumbnails. That's that's the thing. No extra music. I guess what music can you incorporate into Smash Bros. Fallout, right? Uh, same day, alright. I was gonna say, is that coming out earlier? Wow. Jesus. Vault Boy will be joining the fight! That is... See, yeah, mascot costume, because, yeah. That's what I like! I appreciate seeing these costumes. Small tip. May change slightly. Okay. How so? Mega Man would have been your opponent. If you have the costume, it would become... I guess it's just a, a, a thing they added in the patch or whatever. I mean, I'm not sure if that was the case previously, but I don't know. Alongside feature updates. If there is anything changed, that is why. I mean, that's a cool thing to add in, you know? Rematch? I thought you were done with new features. Oh well. Can you just freely rebattle them at any time? Oh, you can! That's cool! I like that. That's strange, Mark. Also, something that says high, high school. What does that mean? Hmm. Everyone wants to have a spirit battle anyway. Deku Link took a while to show up then. That's a cool feature, I appreciate that. Oh, 
パラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラッパラ
It, it does look a little unfinished, it could be a little longer until that happens, We don't know how many of them will actually be produced. Stay tuned for future mouses. That's good! We got some more amiibo! They can continue. Only a bit off topic. We have the ramen challenge! Oh. Vegeta in the Dragon Ball. Now you can stop with the Goku shit, alright? Many voice recordings of the Smash Bros. series. Captain Falcon is the only voice we haven't done new recordings for. Hmm. Very fun VO session. I'd imagine so. Please do Captain Falcon! Do the Falcon Punch! Do it! Do it! Now! How does it sound so better? Yeah, we're thinking of incorporating Final Fantasy into the 64 version. That was a long time ago they mentioned our vision of gaming. We gave up very quickly. We decided to bring it back. Delivered from the house. The significant impact of the daily lives of everyone involved. I hope the situation gets better by the time this video is released. Moderately, we're getting there. Probably still be in very challenging times. Even in the video game industry, some games may be facing challenges. But only some. The launch plans of some games may be changed. Yeah. Case for us, development team of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game plans to continue working on the game within the scope of our abilities. Five more DLC fighters by that time limit we have set. Setting reveal trailers for them eventually. Can we get Can we get a Phoenix Wright? Amen. Amen, fellas. Please understand. <laughs> we have games at home. Overcome this challenge. <laughs> wave, wave goodbye, Sak Sakurai. 2018 copyright, what is this bullshit? Oh, I'm satisfied. Nice spring. I appreciate the Mimin for coming in. And I appreciate the Vault Boy for showing up out of nowhere. We didn't get any full log track, doesn't matter. I still like the fact that Vault Boy is a thing. Gives a nice new jumpsuit for everyone to wear. Nice little helmet in case anyone wants to be funny looking. So yeah, I guess that sums up today's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate slash direct presentation reaction video. It's easy enough. You'll be seeing that Amiibo stuff far in the future whenever they end up coming out and maybe by then there'll be more announcements so that Banjo and Kazooie or even Terry get their statues ready and available by the time that comes around. We don't know yet, it's still the middle of the year, it's still whenever it's gonna come out and whenever it's gonna happen. So we will see you, I will see you in whatever video you choose to watch next, either the gauntlet's going on now or the gauntlet's gonna go on very soon, stick tuned for all that. See ya. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed today's video. What an interesting reveal.